Hey folks, it's Michael from Bitdefender Technical Marketing, and today I'd like to talk to you about our new Executive Summary Dashboard. We'll walk through an overview of the capabilities and the business and security use cases, then take a quick tour of the functionality. So why did Bitdefender build this important new dashboard? We've already got a powerful set of modular, configurable portlets that give security administrators all the information they need to secure their endpoints, to remediate systems and respond to incidents, but we listened to you when you told us that executive decision makers need their own at-a-glance views of what's taking place in the endpoint security environment. So we've responded with our new Gravity Zone Executive Summary Dashboard with its own distinct audience and use cases. The first use case provides essential statistics for business and security decision makers. This includes on-demand snapshots of key metrics to inform executive leadership, business and security decision makers on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. The dashboard generates top level numbers to take to leadership for status meetings, board meetings, or any situation where you'd want to show a current summary of what's happening with endpoint security. The second use case is situational awareness of the active deployment and protection status. This includes details of the organization's overall security posture, a summary of the current risk environment, and a scoreboard of the general attack readiness that leadership can monitor for changes and spot trends over time to help inform their strategic and tactical decision making. The third use case highlights incident breakdown, attack targets, and mitigation responses. This includes cataloging the types of threats facing the organization, ranking the target systems that are under attack and the primary attack techniques being launched against them, plus summarizing the various defenses employed in blocking prevention and incident response. Now let's take a tour of what's new on the Executive Summary Dashboard. Okay, so the new Executive Summary Dashboard is located in the Gravity Zone console right at the upper left of the navigation list under Dashboard. At the top of the page, we see the numbers of managed endpoints, active endpoints, block threats, and an overall company risk score, which I'll get into in a moment to show you the elements that make up that risk score and why they're so important to monitor and keep an eye on. It also shows an inventory of assets under protection by Bitdefender, including Windows workstations and servers, Mac and Linux systems, and a breakdown of physical endpoints and virtual machines. The executive summary provides at-a-glance read-only information for C-level decision makers. It's not intended to be actionable for hands-on security practitioners. That, as I mentioned earlier, is what Gravity Zone's extensive set of modular and configurable security portlets is for where InfoSec professionals can drill down and take action directly from within the portlets. We've included a dropdown to select the company or business unit of interest for which to view in the executive summary statistics. This selector could easily facilitate the management of corporate headquarters and remote branch offices or multiple individual companies if you are a managed services provider. Three default summary views are provided by an easy dropdown at the upper right of the dashboard. One day, seven days, and 30 days delivering daily, weekly, and monthly management snapshots to inform the executive team and aid in their decision-making efforts. Moving right along, here we see the top five types of threats that Bitdefender has blocked within the environment during the reporting period. And you can hover the mouse to show the specific threat breakdown for any day of interest. The next marquee statistic shows the breakdown of threat targets being attacked within the organization, including the number of workstations and servers under threat or active attack. Progressing further down the dashboard, here we see the overall status of security incidents that took place during the reporting period, including how many events were detected by Bitdefender's various prevention modules. We do have over 30 layers of protection in our endpoint security products, and how many incidents require further investigation by security professionals, as reported by our EDR capabilities. Next to the incident status, we see the breakdown of remediation actions, curative effects taken automatically by Bitdefender or performed manually by security responders on your team, including the number of threats blocked, moved to quarantine and deleted, and the number of malicious processes killed and the systems disinfected. Our next summary widget shows the current status of the various endpoint modules during the reporting period, and hovering the mouse shows the precise breakdown of which exact capabilities are enabled, disabled, or not installed across the enterprise endpoint estate. Moving on, we see the overall company risk score broken down into its three primary components, endpoint misconfigurations, vulnerable applications, and human risk factors. Executive decision makers would likely keep a very close eye on this valuable metric, 
looking for steady improvement over time as additional risks are surfaced by the Bitdefender security tools and then addressed either automatically by Gravity Zone or corrected manually by the security team. Rounding out the displays, we see a breakdown of detections based on policy rule violations, blocked devices, connections, applications, and websites, followed by a further breakdown of blocked websites showing how many are hosting malware, phishing fraud, and other undesirable content. And finally, the executive summary summarizes the blocked network attack techniques, showing at which stage of the attack kill chain Bitdefender stepped in to defeat the attack. So, there you have it. Gravity Zone's new executive summary dashboard. How it works and why we built it. We invite you to try it out and let us know what you think of it. Expect additional management-focused widgets to be added to the dashboard over time. And as always, we're looking out for your needs to keep you one step ahead of the threatscape. Thanks for watching and look for many more of these videos from Bitdefender Technical Marketing. I'm Michael and I'll see you next time.